Good morning guys, this is Jason. Today's date is April 24, 2012. Guys, I'm making a video today in regards to the volcanic activity that's been going on since January. Well, actually since last year, but this year it's really picked up. And uh, since January of this year, 2012, there's been 49 volcanoes that have erupted or awakened. Now, YouTube only let me allow me to um, upload to 15 minutes, so I, there's only so much I can put on these videos, but... I've compiled just the last month's worth of um, volcano eruptions or awakenings, but I'm just going to scroll through them. I ain't going to read them. I'm just going to scroll through them so you can see, you know, the gist of it. And just just for the last month, month and a half's worth. But here we got we got volcano behind Atlantis reawakens, and this is published on April 24th, 2012, from Fox News. Like I said, guys, I'm not going to go through there and read them. I'm just going to show you the articles. I'll include the links in the info. All right, guys, we have Tungra erupts launching gravel near nearby town. And this is dated for April 23rd, 2012. And this is in Ecuador. All right, guys, we have the, I'm not going to even try to pronounce that name, but we have the Mexico volcano eruption that just happened a couple days ago. And this article is from Scott.net. April 20th, 2012. This happened in Mexico. Alright guys, in an article from Extinction Protocol, it says Colombia prepares for imminent eruption of Nevado del Ruiz volcano, and that's in Colombia, and it's dated for April 20th, 2012. Alright guys, this is another article from Extinction Protocol. This is Mount Lamington Volcano Awakens in Papua New Guinea after 56 years, dated April 19, 2012. Alright guys, this is another article from Extinction Protocol. It says Russia Shevalach Volcano spews ash up to 9,500 meters, its most powerful eruption this year, and that's dated for April 17, 2012. Another article from Extinction Protocol, it says 40 knot volcano erupts in 2012. Ecuador Sangay Volcano unleashes 2 kilometer ash cloud. It's dated for April 17, 2012. Now guys, I know this is from Extinction Protocol, but they're just like me. They kind of group all the articles together. But if, when I include the links, you guys can hit this link right here, and this will take you to the original news article. Two volcanoes in Costa Rica now reporting increased activity, dated for April 16, 2012. And again, you can click right here for the, the news article, original news article link. This article is from the Telegraph, talking about the Iceland volcano, and you thought it, last year's eruption was bad. This is dated for April 10, 2012. They're talking about the eruption that's going on in Iceland with the... Uh, also, the seismic activity. All right, guys, here's an article, Dylan, in regards to Italy's Mount Etna volcano rocked by six eruption in 2012. And this is dated for April 12, 2012. If you scroll down here, they've also included a video. All right, guys, we have Guatemalan volcanoes increase activity. 33 explosions at San Guido volcano. And this is dated for March 26. This is in Guatemala. All right, guys, here's a video entitled Japan Sakurajima Volcano Exploded Today, producing two large explosive eruptions. Dated for April 18, 2012. This is one of, actually one of my videos I've uploaded. But here's the date and time. This is their cameras that monitor the Japan's volcano eruptions. Now, I tried to actually look for a news article, but I guess this thing's been exploding so much since January that they just got tired of putting the news out, and they just started releasing the videos. But I'm going to play a little bit. I'm not going to play all of it because it's three minutes long, but I'm going to show you one of the eruptions.
right guys here's another video entitled multiple worldwide volcano eruptions within the last five days due to seismic earthquake activity now I uploaded this video on January 5th 2012 and it's comprised of Mount Edna volcano in Italy Sakurajima volcano in Japan Mount Zuger and El Hero volcano in the Red Sea eruptions I remember comprising these all these eruptions together because that week we'd actually got hit with a massive CME solar flare and we had a lot of earthquakes and seismic activity that week which set off a chain reaction in our volcano activity but if you guys want to watch this this is also in my favorites alright guys I'm gonna to try to show you so you have a broad understanding of what is taking place around the world and what is causing all this destruction now ever since last year we've been getting rocked by massive CMEs that have been launched off the Sun unlike any time in human history okay on this diagram over here, here's approximate size of the Earth. This is the CME, solar flare. You could fit about a thousand of those size Earths inside this CME. Here I'm including more of NASA's data images. Here's a uh, CME, Earth directed CME that launched off the Sun on April 9, 2012. You can see how big that solar flare was. And over here on the right, I'm just giving you a diagram of what a solar flare consists of. Now you can pause the video and you can actually read this. Here's a picture that gives you kind of an illustration of what it looks like from a space view after the sun has launched a solar flare towards the earth. Um, of course you've got your protective field that protects the earth, the magnetic sphere, the atmosphere, and the ozone from the, the harmful radiation, gamma, and beta rays. When we get hit by strong solar flare and CMEs, it affects our northern and southern hemispheres, thus giving us the beautiful auroras we see. Not only does these strong CME solar flares, which are comprised of highly charged particles, give us beautiful auroras, but they also disturb our power grids, our radio transmissions, and our satellite reception. These strong solar flares and CMEs also affect our atmosphere and plays a major role in our climate change and our weather. This is also the main reason why we've had a major outbreak in tornado activity this year. It's also the reason why parts of Texas last week got slammed with four feet of hail. It also plays a major role with all the biblical flooding that's been taking place all over the earth for the last year and a half. All right, guys, I bring you an article from Yahoo News. Uh, the title of this article is, It's Already Been a Record-Breaking Hot Year, and it's dated for Monday, April 9, 2012. If you scroll on down, it's just talking about the dramatic climate change that's been taking place within this year and last year. And right here, they go in to talk about just this year alone. In the month of March, we've had 7,775 weather records broken just in the month of March alone. So you can clearly see that these solar flares, these strong solar flares, are affecting our climate and our atmosphere and our weather. Like I said, guys, not only does these strong solar flares and CMEs give us beautiful auroras, they also affect our power grids, our satellites, and our radio transmissions, but they also affect our atmosphere as well, affecting our weather, our climate, but another major role it plays in is our seismic activity. Here's a diagram right here. When we get hit by a major solar flare CME, if it's earth directed, it affects our outer core and our mantle. Well, our tectonic plates and volcanoes are on top of the mantle. When it heats this, it causes the tectonic plates to shift, thus giving us seismic activity thus giving us volcanic activity. That's what's causing all the volcanoes to go off. That's what's causing all the earthquake and all the seismic activity lately. Alright guys, here's an earthquake map diagram for April 11th. Now guys, I already made a video in regards to this in, in which we had a massive solar flare launch off the sun on April 9th. The impact date was two days later, which was April 11th. When we got impacted by that massive solar flare, these are all the earthquakes around the world that took place on that day along with the volcano eruptions. Now if you want to see that video you can go back into my favorites I've got it in there. Ever since last year ever since we started experiencing these massive solar flares and CMEs not only have we been getting those a lot of seismic activity and volcano activity but these sinkholes been popping up everywhere around the world and the earthquake and the seismic activity is what is causing those.
Dylan, in regards to the volcano activity, not only is it happening on land, but it's also happening in our sea and our oceans. Now, under the ocean sea floor, there's magma. Now, when there's an earthquake on the sea floor, it opens up fissures. When those fissures open up, it releases methane gas into the water in the sea and the ocean. Now, anything that's in that ocean, when that methane gas is released, it takes all the oxygen out of the water. So anything that's swimming, fish, dolphins, whales, anything that is in that area, when that methane gas is released, it kills it on contact because it takes all the oxygen out of the water. That's where our Hosea prophecy is coming into play, where are all these uh, millions of fish and dolphins and whales and squid are washing up on the coastlines and that's where th that's what's causing all this is the volcanoes, the earthquakes. Like I said, when an earthquake happens on the sea floor, it opens up fissures. And when these fissures open up, it releases that methane gas, and that is what's killing all this sea life. And that is what we call the Hosea prophecy. All right, guys, so in conclusion, these strong solar flares and CMEs that have been slamming the earth since last year are not only giving us beautiful auroras in our northern and southern hemisphere, it's affecting our atmosphere, our climate, and our weather. It's taking its toll on our power grid, satellites, and radio transmissions. It's causing earthquakes, volcano eruptions. And the earthquakes are causing all the sinkholes. And it's making our Hosea prophecy come to pass. But anyways, guys, I just thought I'd share some of that information with you guys that are unaware of what's causing all this and why all this is taking place all